Good day everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to test or check the spin motor of a washing machine. So the spin motor of a washing machine has a two three wires. So the blue wire, the green wire and the gray wire. So the first thing we need to do or the things we need to do is to identify what is the common the run and the start winding among these three wires this or identifying the uh, parts of the spin motor will tell us whether the spin motor is good or defective so the first thing we need to do is to set the VOM to times 10 so after setting the BOM to times 10 range, you need to calibrate the multi-tester so that you can, uh, you can uh, measure or you can have an exact measurement during your measurement process. So calibration, short the test probe, and then adjust the zero ohm adjustment knob if the pointer is not in zero. Huh? Yan. Okay. So now, next thing you need to do is to write the different colors in the paper you see uh, in your paper. So for the green, no, for the green wire. So you need to measure the resistance of green and gray, and the uh, green and blue. So let's measure the resistance of green and gray. Okay, so this is the green and this is the gray. Okay, so the resistance or the reading is 22 ohms. So in identifying the parts of the spin motor, do not uh, multiply the reading to the range because we need only to uh, have a measurement or reading for identifying the parts so that will be 22 ohms so green and gray is 22 ohms you do not need to multiply the reading to the range because we need only the uh, resistance reading not a measurement okay next we have the green and the blue so green so green and blue so green and blue measure or the reading is 15 ohms so the reading is 15 ohms so you need to add the resistance of green and gray and green and blue so that will be 37 ohms so green the resistance of green is equal to 37 ohms so the resistance of green is 37 ohms next we need to measure the gray green and the gray blue so the gray green is the same with the green and gray so we do not need to measure again the gray and green because we have already have the resistance of green and gray so that will be 22 ohms so next we need to measure the resistance of gray and the blue so we have the gray and the blue one so that will be 8 ohms so gray and blue is 8 ohms and then same with the green you will need to add the resistance so that will be 0 carry 1 that will be 3 so 30 ohms so the gray resistance is 30 ohms get it next we need to measure the blue and the gray this is uh, the resistance of blue and the gray so we did uh, we do not need to 
measure again the resistance because it's already have uh, we have the data of the blue and green gray because gray and blue and gray and blue or blue and gray is the same so they are the same so we have here the 8 ohms and the blue green uh, blue green is the same with green and blue which has 15 ohms so we need to add again so 8 plus 5 is 13 carry 1 that will be 23 ohms so the blue or well, the resistance of blue is 23 ohms now after knowing the resistance of the different wires now we can identify what is or what are the parts of the spin motor remember the lowest resistance is the common part of the spin motor so the lowest resistance is 23 ohms which is the blue so the blue wire is the common get it the highest resistance the highest resistance is the start motor the highest resistance is the start winding no? or the start winding so the highest resistance here is the 37 so the green wire is the start winding and the middle resistance or the resistance between the highest and the lowest is the run winding again the lowest resistance is the common the highest resistance is the start and the middle resistance is the run so now we identify the different part of the spin motor that is the process of identifying the common the run and the start winding of the spin motor so the blue is the common the green is the start and the gray is the run winding identifying the parts of the spin motor is very important because you need to know the start winding because it is connected to the start up capacitor again the start winding is connected to the start up capacitor the common is connected to the line 2 of the outlet and the line winding is connected to the other side of the capacitor and to the line 1 of the outlet okay so that is how to identify the different parts of the spin motor if you have questions that the just type it on the comment box and i will answer it immediately okay thank you and god bless